Today, I want to share with you briefly how we have been using Texas State Parks as geoheritage sites to give teachers access to earth science education resources, in particular, geospatial resources. We have developed a full day workshop focused on earth science middle school student standards that require students to analyze the effects of erosion and deposition on earth's surface using imagery and maps. Similar standards appear in the high school earth and space science course. Our geoheritage site for wind erosion and deposition is Monaghan Sandhill State Park. The park is an excellent environment to demonstrate how the wind reshapes Earth's features. The website's homepage has a short video that provides a virtual field visit, moving students through the environment with a park ranger guide while showing active erosion and deposition by the wind, as well as vegetation in various stages of colonizing the dunes. The U.S. Geological Survey provides an excellent online readings resource to supplement the State Park website. Through the online book, students and teachers gain a grounding in desert processes and vocabulary, learning how dunes migrate and how to identify wind and dune migration directionality. Each Texas State Park website offers practical access to geospatial resources intimately connected to our geoheritage sites. The default choice for the Maps tab is, of course, a map, but the satellite option instantly puts imagery into teachers' hands. What follows is an overview of a unit that covers dune migration and dune stabilization at Monaghan Sandhills. Above, you see a zoomed clip from the park website. This 2018 Landsat image is annotated to show dunes in various stages of stabilization by vegetation, ranging from active dunes to sparsely vegetated dunes, coppice dunes, and totally stabilized dunes. Most Texas state parks have Facebook pages on which rangers post continuous updates, including seasonal changes and changes caused by hazard, hazardous events, such as flooding and wildfires. These pages are another great resource for photographs to illustrate student learning activities. TPWD also provides an imagery-based story map resource showing historical change in multiple properties, including state parks. Current Landsat imagery is paired with historical airborne imagery for change detection. Here the overlay image from 1967 for Monaghan Sandhills is directly compared to a current Landsat image with the swipe function to detect not only changes in dune location and stabilization, but also energy resource development and new sand mining in the Permian Basin. All of the sand mines shown here are new since 2014. The first thing students will recognize is that the extent of the active dune field in 1967 is significantly larger than that in 2018. Encroachment of vegetation has been very active in the park. Activities in this unit require students to interpret and annotate the imagery to determine the wind direction that created the dune forms and the direction of dune movement in the active dune field. The exercise uses selected views to highlight dune migration and dune stabilization using a gridded worksheet. Students are introduced to the use of geographic coordinates and to the use of map scales. They identify areas where there have been changes in vegetation cover and where the dune configuration has changed over time. Other tabs in the TPWD imagery-based story map resource show multiple historical changes encro encroaching on our geoheritage sites, including urbanization, coastal retreat and coastal engineering, water resource development, wildfires, energy development, sea level rise, and wetland loss. Take advantage of your own state-managed lands as accessible geoheritage sites 
around which to prepare standards-based learning activities. If you don't have a historical imagery viewer, build one. The educational materials highlighted in this presentation are the products of a grant supporting the development of a set of standard-based outreach materials for grades 4 through 12 education called Watching Over Texas from Space.